it begins the month of April. When are you sending the invoice? When are you receiving payment? I know commercial can be a slower than residential. It's like, hey, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to get your card on file and charge it on April 1st, May 1st. And and most residential customers, because you're talking directly to them, they're cool with that. But when it gets into commercial, you're dealing with payroll and, and like accounts mm-hmm. receivable and payable. And like, you know, these big corporations are, they got their system and processes. How do you handle all that? What's your protocols? Oh, it, that is the, that's very difficult. The cash flow, as far as dealing with commercial clients is, is probably after labor, after me dealing with, with people and hiring people, that's probably my biggest challenge. You have to pick your battles when you're dealing with that, because you may have a a client that has $200,000 worth of contracts, but they're paying 30, 45 days. You have to make a decision if if you can live with that. Like it's their policy is their policy. And so you can tell them that, well, my policy is 15 days, but they're going to tell you up front. Well, Steve, I just got an email from somebody like that, by the way, they're going to tell you, your policy is 15 days, but I'm telling you our policy is 45 days. So you have to make a decision, a business decision based on that and say, can we handle that? Can we take that, whatever it is, 10 grand a month? Or can we wait 45 days for that? Now, in order to combat that a little bit, I send my bills out on the first of the month, not the 30th. If it's a contract bill, I send it out on the first of the month. So for April, I'll send it out April 1st. Okay. But for some of the properties, you're not getting that first payment until May 15th for the net 45 folks. Mm-hmm. You heard it from Steve, folks. And again, Steve, I, I don't know if you ever listened to my program, but I'm not the most friendly towards commercial work because all, all of my experiences have been this. And, and when I was starting off, I couldn't wait. I did a Carabas Italian grill and I think we did pine straw down here. I did it in January. And here I am in the spring, still chasing down my money from the Outback Steakhouse Institute in Florida yeah. for Carabas. I guess Outback owns them. And I'm sitting there talking, calling the long story short, they sent the check to the wrong address, supposedly. Mm-hmm. And it's net. Well, anyway, at that time, I needed that money and it was stressing me out. And I wasn't established to where I could absorb waiting. And so finally, I just said, forget it. I'm just going to cut. Randy and Sweet Sue's yard and get paid pretty swiftly. You got 30 years under your belt. You figured all this out. So I want I wanted to have unbiased opinion towards commercial work instead of telling people don't do it. So yeah, I wouldn't say don't do it. I would say when you get into it, you need to know what you're getting into. So do your homework. There's magazine articles and things like that that you can read. You have to learn the business a little bit before you get into it because you don't want to get burned. You have to be careful. There are some bad property managers out there too. Like I, I've had my share of that. And there are ones that I will not work with no matter what. I don't care what they what they throw at me. I will not work at them, with them because I've had bad experiences with them and learned my lesson. But that doesn't mean I can't sign up with somebody else who's not great. But you have to do your homework as a business owner to decide, is this something I want to get into? On the flip side, it's a very solid business. It's a good business. And you can combat that cash flow issue that we talked about. So say you've got all your customers and they're 30, 45 days or whatever. Well, you can still do like we do enhancement work and we do some enhancement work for residential customers. So we will be doing enhancement work for residential clients um, Monday through Friday, say, and then we're getting paid from those jobs as we do them. So we expect payment when we're done with those. So we can be bringing in money from enhancement work on residential jobs Monday through Friday, five days a week throughout the month. And that that helps with the cash flow. 